Hi everyone, hope you've had a great weekend with whatever you may have been up to. So this was a video I wasn't expecting to make this late on a Sunday evening as it's just gone 11pm my time. But as such, when there's what I believe to be worthwhile Wheel of Time news to be covered, I feel compelled to get a video out there to the subscribers on the channel, but also just in general to anyone else out there in the fandom that may stumble across the video along their travels. So I can hear you all wondering, just what exactly is this news that I have to share with you all? Well, let's not waste any more time and get into it. About an hour ago, I came across news through Twitter that there had just been an interview released through Sharlif Reagan's podcast, The Irishman Abroad, where, as you guessed it, he interviews fellow Irishmen and women on his podcast. And his latest episode features none other than Wheel of Time actor Daryl McCormack. Before getting into the Wheel of Time portion of the interview, I can't stress enough how interesting an interview this was on the whole. The interview covers a range of topics including Daryl's working alongside Alec Baldwin in his latest movie Pixie, his experiences of imposter syndrome while starring in Peaky Blinders, and his thoughts on the it factor. I highly encourage you all to have a listen to the interview in full. Charlie's podcast can be found at patreon.com forward slash Irishman abroad as well as a preview of the full interview over on his SoundCloud account. I'll leave links to all his social channels and Patreon account down below in the description and as a pinned comment in the video. Now back to the portion of the interview I know you'll all be interested in hearing about. I'll be taking small portions of the Wheel of Time part from the interview for you all to listen to and then I'll give you my thoughts and impressions on what has been spoken about. The next thing that jumps out at me, certainly preparing this, is the Wheel of Time and a hyped series, a, a series that you know we've yet to see, but mm. we're kind of being led by a trail of breadcrumbs, the way mm. they do, into believing this is going to be huge and mm. this amount of money has been spent on this. I mean, mm. that must come with a certain amount of pressure. Where's your head at in relation to that? And what can you tell us about it? Or are you signing yeah. NDAs left, right and centre? No, I, I can I can tell you a bit about it. So I think, so obviously when I got the audition and stuff, uh, I'd been auditioned for a few roles, some of the leads that I, I kind of came down to the last few for. And then, yeah, I got offered a part of Aram who kind of comes in the first book and then comes back in book four to book eight or something. But I then became slowly aware of the, the like just the amount of books that's behind the series and then just the amount of fans as well. And I genuinely just loved the book. Like I read the, the now they're massive books, but I got through the first book and I was like, this is, this is just such a, an epic kind of story. And, um, and obviously to have someone like Amazon, making it to have someone like Rosamund Pike in the lead. Uh, it was super cool. And for me then, like reading the book, just even being aware that like these books have been out since the 90s and there's been these fans like literally waiting to see like a physical representation of these characters that they've been living with for years. You know, like some of these fans just like, you know, have the tattoos and <laughs> they have their Twitter handles as like, you know, Sadai or, you know, they'd have the, the their names and stuff. So like it just feels kind of quite cool to be like involved in a show mm. where you just know that like these stories matter to so many people who are in this in the, the fantasy world and so and you, just you, personally then yeah playing the role I'm playing I'm excited to play. What's interesting to know is that Daryl auditioned for some of the major roles on the show but ended up getting a part the part of Aaron. It's not unusual for actors and actresses to audition for multiple roles on the show and end up getting a different part of another character. It's never a knock on someone's acting credentials, but more to the fact that someone else has probably captured the role and the imagination of the casting directors more strongly than that particular actor might have. There are plenty of other series out there where a smaller character 
on a show has gone on to become a hugely popular one to the fans and ends up becoming a big part of that show moving forward. I can think of one such character straight off the bat as I've just recently finished rewatching Buffy and that is of course Spike. He was supposed to just be a bit part baddie for one season and then get pretty much killed off but left such a lasting impression on the fan base that they brought him back and made him an integral part of the show up until its end. It's also great to hear, and this has to be said for pretty much all of the cast, just how much they loved the books after having read at least the first one. In preparation for filming, I feel it's always helpful for an actor to love the source material when playing a character when it's being adapted to the screen, as I would presume that you are more invested in getting your portrayal of that character you're playing as accurate as you can, while of course adding parts of yourself to the role. It was also great hearing how rare of the fandom he's become and how much it means to us all that we're finally getting, as he puts it, physical representation of all the characters that we've lived with for so long. I get this sense that he fully appreciates that and is fully embracing the fact that we, you know, we're such a bunch of positive and lovely people for the most part and that they all just want to do their absolute best they can when creating the show. That's the sense I get from it all. Where where is that shot? We shoot that out in Prague for the most part, and I think the guys then do other bits. I think they um, I don't know what other countries are near Czech Republic, but they they've been to a few other spots as well, along with like the Canary Islands. So it's kind of just a, a mixed bunch around Europe. So the interesting thing to take away from that you know small portion of the interview is. I don't believe we knew this filming in the Canary Islands. I think that was a, a small little new piece of uh, news that we didn't previously know. So it's interesting to note. And of course, with the recently found uh, shooting that happened, I believe, last week in Spain for a couple of days, you know, we're getting a better and bigger understanding of, you know, it wasn't just set and shot in uh, Prague and you know, the countries around there. So. Yeah, just an interesting small little tidbit of news to learn. And it just makes you wonder where else they might have possibly filmed some shots for their series. So what I read is that uh, production for that is halted in March due to COVID. What's the plan from here? Like, are they going Mm. back? Will they release Mm. what they have? Uh, Yeah. Do you know any of these answers? I do. So I think they they did put a halt to it around March, April, and they were lucky enough to go. They were lucky enough to go back a few months ago. So I think they've resumed shooting uh, and should wrap season one by uh, December. So fingers crossed, they'll still be able to get it out at some point next year because I think they did anticipate uh, releasing it in twenty twenty one. So yeah, fingers crossed all all goes well because I'm I'd imagine you know on the downtime of covid while they couldn't shoot they're probably doing everything they could mm. on the episodes that they got in the can and so um fingers crossed that all going well they can yeah wrap it in December and get it out. So for this last portion of the interview, we didn't learn anything new, but it's always great to get confirmation from someone that's on the show regarding the um, shutdown of the filming and its reintroduction. It's interesting to note that he hoped and believed it would be finished in terms of the filming for the first season in December. So it's probably more than likely this was filmed a little while ago. I could be jumping the ship on that particular point. But yeah, that's still good to hear. And of course, also hearing that they are going to still hopefully have a release date in 2021 is great news. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found the interview to be one that was interesting and to give you some new insights into the show. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you all in the next video.